we're going to move forward learning some more formulas for uh, using with our trig equations. There are several different types of formulas that we're going to um, learn in the next couple of lessons. Here we're going to talk about the sum and difference formulas. So let's put these in your notes. There are sum and difference formulas for cosine, sine, and tangent that we're going to need to know. So you can pause the video and write these down in your notes. But the cosine formulas are the cosine of angle alpha plus angle beta is equivalent to the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta minus the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. So if we know the angle measure alpha and we know the angle measure beta, if alpha and beta are exact value angle measures, then we could actually use this formula to find a real number value for the cosine of alpha plus beta. We'll, we'll do an example or two to make sure that you understand what I'm saying, but just write these formulas down and then we'll practice how to use them. So here's the sum formula for cosine. Here's the difference formula for cosine. The cosine of alpha minus beta is cosine alpha times cosine beta plus sine alpha times sine beta. So uh, they have equivalent terms, but the difference between the sum and the difference formulas for cosine are just this plus or minus right here. Now the sine formulas, the sine sum formula, sine of alpha plus beta equals the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta plus the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta. The difference formula for sine, the sine of alpha minus beta, equals the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta minus the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta. So where this is cosine, cosine, and sine, sine, we can see for sine it's sine times cosine and cosine times sine with alpha and beta respectively in that position. So let's talk about the tangent sum and difference formulas. The tangent sum formula, the tangent of alpha plus beta is the tangent of alpha plus the tangent of beta over one minus tangent alpha times tangent beta. The tangent difference formula is the tangent of alpha minus beta, and that is the tangent of alpha minus the tangent of beta over one plus tangent alpha times tangent beta. For now, just put those in your notes. We're gonna work a couple of examples so you can see what it's talking about. So here they ask us to find the exact value of the sine of four pi over nine times the cosine of pi over nine minus the sine of pi over nine times the cosine of four pi over nine. So in this situation, when they give us the right-hand side of our sum and difference formula, we need to see which trig function we're talking about, which one involves sine and cosine. Well, we know that's gonna be the, either the sine sum or the sine difference. It's the only one up here that involves sine and cosine in each term. So we know we're talking about a sine formula. So we need to look here to see if there's a plus in between those or a minus, because that's either going to be the sine sum or the sine difference formula. So here we see that there is a minus. So on a minus, if we look back at our notes where there's a minus between us, it's the sine difference. So we can recognize what the measure of angle angle alpha is and the measure of angle beta, and we'll just find the difference of those. So we can see here that alpha is 4 pi over 9 and beta is pi over 9. So that leaves us 3 pi over 9. Well, that reduces algebraically to pi over 3. And that is an exact value angle measure, so we can definitely find the sine of pi over 3. Sine is going to be pi over 3 in uh, quadrant one, and so that's the square roots of three over two. So it's pretty straightforward to actually use the sum and difference formulas. We can either be given uh, information in this direction and use this half of it, or we can be given information in this direction and use this half of it to solve our problem. So this says find the exact value of cosine seven pi over 18 times cosine of pi over nine minus the sine of seven pi over uh, 18 times the sine of pi over nine. I recognize that as a cosine formula. It's either the sum or difference cosine formula. 
I notice, we'll go back down here, I notice that there is a, a minus in between them. It's cosine, cosine, sine, sine, so I know that's a cosine formula. I look for which formula has the minus in between those terms, and it is the cosine sum. So I'm going to find angle alpha and angle beta and add them together in order to be able to solve this. So I need 7 pi over 18 plus pi over 9. So this is 2 pi over 18. 7 pi over 18 plus 2 pi over 18 is 9 pi over 18. So the actual angle measure we're talking about is pi over 2. And the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So, not difficult to use the formulas. The formulas just look a little daunting, but they're really not. Come to class next time and we'll work some homework problems involving some of the difference formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent.